Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. As you can tell by the title of the video, my Jaclyn Cosmetic Complexion products came in. I literally just got so many packages. <laughs> So we're going to test this out today and see what I think. So if you want to know if these products are worth your money, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay guys, excuse my appearance as far, like I'm in a hoodie. <laughs> I worked out not too long ago. This came in along with two other packages and I still have the MAC Cosmetics Chinese New Year collection sitting on my vanity. So I do have quite a bit of makeup to review for you guys. And so I just decided to just get this filmed as soon as possible. So I decided to start with this Jaclyn Cosmetics Complexion Collection. I am pretty excited just because uh, I am happy that she did not release a full coverage foundation. <laughs> she is full coverage queen and I was scared that when she launched her complexion products, especially a foundation or skin tint, that it was going to be like full coverage and I was not going to enjoy it. So when she announced that this was a skin tint, I myself personally was actually relieved and ecstatic so i got it in the shade medium which is shade number six in the line there's only 12 shades available for this skin tint uh she could have done better a lot of companies i feel like use the excuse that it's a skin tint it's stretchable you know a good variety of people can use one shade i just that to me is a selling point and i don't believe it to be true but we'll see let me try it out and I'll be the judge of that, but I still feel like she could have added a couple of more shades, even though it's a skin tint. What are the claims for this skin tint? It has a sheer coverage, it smooths and blurs the skin's appearance, it has a natural finish, and it is in an airless pump. That way you get every drop of this foundation. So it's supposed to perfect and blur your skin. It retails for $34. There is one ounce in here and it has a 12 month shelf life and it looks like it was made in Korea. Here is the package itself. It is in a plastic bottle. I don't mind it. I do enjoy how the actual bottle itself looks. I think it is beautiful and I do feel like it goes well with other products from her line. And then like the rose gold in. So I definitely do feel like it all looks cohesive within the brand. Okay, now for the Jaclyn Cosmetics Concealer. I picked up the shade Light Medium Neutral, which is a light medium with neutral undertones. Let's look at the claims. It says it is a medium to full coverage. It visibly brightens and blurs. It's a buildable formula. It has the doe foot applicator. It's available in 35 shades. So she definitely did a better job with the concealer than she did with this skin tint. But it says it's a lightweight buildable concealer. It's called the Fall Filter Perfecting Concealer. I did watch a couple of reviews. <laughs> I like to watch reviews just so that I can know what I'm expecting. This retails for $26. It has 0.32 ounces. It has a six month shelf life and it was made in the USA. Here is the component and it just, it reminds me of like your regular lip gloss component, um, kind of like the Jeffree Star matte lipsticks. Uh, I think Buxom is another one that it got compared to um, and they do go together very well. Why don't I bring you guys in closer and we can get these products on my face. Okay, so she did say the best method of application is your fingers. I don't like to add too many products with my fingers, but we're going to test it out just for the sake of the video. I did also bring a wet sponge and a brush just in case I wanna switch it up and whatnot. I am going to do one pump. This is supposed to be a very lightweight 
like no coverage. I'll do one side and see what that does. So it definitely has a very thick, moussey texture to it. I am using natural lighting today and I have some of my lights on, but mostly natural lighting. I do feel like this is a good match. I am enjoying it though. Like I feel like it looks pretty. It has definitely evened out my skin tone with a little bit of like the pinkiness just popping through, but I feel like that's why she created the concealer to help with covering up those areas. Okay, so this is the side with the product and this is the side without the product. So it definitely does look like it improved my skin overall as far as the appearance goes. It feels hydrating. So if you have oily skin, I'm not sure how you're going to feel about this product. She did mention in one of her recent, I think it was like an Instagram little uh, reel or a video like Instagram TV. I'm not sure. She created this product to lock in moisture. That probably does not sound appealing at all to people with oily skin. So let me go ahead and apply this other side. I'll start with a brush and then finish off with a sponge and see how that goes. Okay, this is what we are looking like. I tried finger applying, I tried the brush, and I did try kind of perfecting the skin with the sponge, just going over it right at the end. And I feel like with the sponge, um, I wouldn't suggest doing it just because it's already a sheer product and I definitely feel like this sheared it out even more. But as of right now, I feel like for my personal taste, the brush is the way that I will be applying this product. It did a fairly decent job. So as you could tell, I am pretty dewy. <laughs> I don't mind dew, but I am going to set this product because I always set everything. You guys already know this if you've been here for a while. <laughs> but as you can see, it, it is very, very light no coverage it just kind of evened out my skin tone i don't know about the blurring part honestly i don't know i did use kind of mattifying primers so i used the professional uh the original in my t-zone and i used the new one the water primer on the rest of my face like it's it's a hydrating primer but i feel like it also a little bit mattifying so that's why i chose to use those two and i did use the jacqueline under eye primer to make sure that my under eyes are nice and hydrated because in the reviews that I did see, the concealer is the product that seemed to give people the most issues with dryness. So, okay. <laughs> so now we are going to jump into the concealer. And like I said in the swatch, at least here indoors, it looked peachy. This is what the Dofa applicator looks like. So it's like your normal lip gloss or liquid lip type of doe foot. I'm going to tread softly. So I'm going to start here, here. See how, at least I feel like it looks peachy, right? Here, here. I'll blend this out and then I'll move into my nose. I'm using my Jaclyn and Morphe JH08 and we are going to blend this out. So I definitely feel like that little bit went a long way and my under eyes do look blurring. Now when you say blurring, this is what I think of, not what my skin is looking like.
Okay, so here is a close up of the under eyes. I hope you can see. So I definitely feel like I went in with the perfect amount of product anymore and it will probably start looking cakey. Uh, I don't know if I like that about concealers. Like when you have to really tread softly, in that case, I'm literally never gonna go through this. The shelf life of this is six months. So you also have to take that into consideration, you know? I mean, I'm sure none of us follow that, but just saying. Okay, I am not hating what I am looking at. So she mentioned that she can either wear it without it being set or set it. I'm already looking and I will have to set this because it keeps settling in to my fine lines. So the way that I've been setting my eyes recently is with a little puff. So I have my one size powder here and I literally barely dip it tap it on the back of my hand and then I press it in and set it. I'm using my one size instead of her face palette because her face palette is too drying for my eyes. Okay, but this is looking okay. I'm not loving it. That's what that looks like. Okay, let me uh, finish off the rest of my face and I am going to do a wear test today. Okay guys, I am pretty much done with my makeup. I do have a majority of Jaclyn Cosmetics products. I will go ahead and link everything down below in case you are interested in what I have on my face. I do have a tiny bit of creasing happening in my under eyes. Let's see if I can get you in closer. Okay, so it's creasing pretty bad. The last time my under eyes did this was because I used a brush with the powder instead of the puff. But I used a puff and I used the one size powder for my under eyes. So yeah. <laughs> okay, but here is what the rest of my face looks like. If you saw, I did mix all of the powders in this palette tapped my brush so it was a very light layer this is um i believe the third palette i think there's only four available and i believe this is the third palette in her face palette powders so it was a very very light layer i just wanted to set the whole face and since i don't have any of her loose setting powders or the translucent pressed powder i decided just to see if i can make that work and i am liking the way my complexion is looking it's definitely still dewy so yeah i just don't know how people with oily skin are going to feel about this skin tint but let me go ahead and turn you on over to mary out in the field so she can give you the update on the wear test and what are my final thoughts on this product and then i will see you guys uh for the outro and my first impressions all right guys so this is the one and only check-in i will be doing i didn't really do much today so it's not like i can really test it out um it's been about six hours i finished applying my base right at noon and well right at 12 30. it's now 6 30. as you can see my skin looks like my skin but 
better. It's like a no makeup makeup type of look still for sure. You can definitely see my oils popping out on my chin and around my nose, which is very typical. It did the same thing with all my other foundation reviews. <laughs> it's not um, honestly as oily as I thought it might be just because of the nature of the formula of the skin tint. It is very hydrating. It is very thick, moussey. It's just... It's something that I would feel upon first application that it's really gonna bring my oils out in my T-zone and I don't feel like it has. So I'm impressed with that part. Um, I am really enjoying this. I did mention in my first impressions before this check-in that I am really loving it. So I feel like she did a really good job with a skin tint. I'm not hating this at all. Now do take into consideration my skin type. Some of you might consider my skin type to be a perfect skin. I don't have too many skin issues, so I can understand where that comes from. I would definitely suggest to watch some reviews and say you decide to purchase this and don't like it just as a skin tint, for sure try it as a primer because the reviews that I have seen of makeup YouTubers that did not enjoy the skin tint as a primer, they are loving it. If that turns out to be your situation, then try it out as that. As far as the concealer, I think it's going to be a hit or miss depending on each person because I do feel like it's a very uh, drying formula and it's probably because it sets down very quick and it sets down into place. She wanted this formula to be like, you know, full coverage, can't see anything, makes your under eyes look perfect. That, um, that doesn't work for it. I'm looking in the mirror right now and I actually am not hating what I'm seeing, but you guys saw how little of the concealer I used. I would definitely say that it would be a personal decision whether you want to risk purchasing this concealer or not. But I definitely feel that it is a very drying concealer and you are going to have to really work to figure out how it's going to work for you and your skin. Overall, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Not my favorite concealer, it's skin tint I love. Let's take it back to Mary in the studio. All right guys, and this is what the full face is looking like. I'm really enjoying the way that my makeup is looking. Aside from me having to tap out the concealer and it looks like I'm not having any more issues. It's the same issue I was having before I started using the puff and then it kind of resolved that, but I think because of the nature of this concealer, that's why that trick didn't work. But the other times after I tapped it with my finger and kind of cleared it out a tiny bit, it was fine after that. So it's not a big deal. First impressions, definitely the skin tint is my favorite and it's the one that I'm enjoying the most. Since I do have an oily T-zone, I do expect for it to bring out my oils in my T-zone more than anywhere else. And that might be the only part that I might have an issue with at the end of the day from wearing it. But everything else, I feel like it's going to look perfectly fine. I solve that issue usually by picking the right primers to contain my oils in my T-zone. So that's not a big deal, but for sure, I'm really loving the skin tint. This component is pretty cute. I do love the fact that it's the airless or the tight seal that is going to make sure you get every drop. So you're gonna get your money's worth. $34 to me seems like an okay price, but I feel like it's going to be a personal preference. It is a skin tint, it's very lightweight. So more than likely you are going to be using more of the product than you would with a normal foundation. So you do have to take that into consideration. I feel like the price is aligned to what she's trying to go for, which is to be right in between like luxury and affordable makeup. So 34 for me, seems like a decent price. Okay, the concealer. I'm not sure about this. I will have to keep testing it out. I did have issues with it and you saw I used quite a little bit of amount of this concealer, but I feel like she focused so much on making sure that this was a full coverage concealer, that it stayed put, it didn't move, it covered, you know, everything, your under eyes, and made them look just so perfect that it kind of messed with the formula itself. From the reviews that I did see, the concealer is pretty much where all of them, they were just like, no, this is gonna be a no for me. And I see why. 
I definitely see why. I did use the Jaclyn Cosmetics primer, um, but I'm still feeling like my under eyes feel drying for sure. It's definitely a very drying concealer, and if you have really dry under eyes, yeah, you might not like that at all. Uh, so those are my first impressions and thoughts on these complexion products from Jaclyn Cosmetics. $26 for the concealer. Uh, that seems normal, I think, right? $20, $25. So I don't think um, it's a bad price. It lands right where her price point is for most of her products. Again, personal preference. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this review of Jaclyn Cosmetics. First complexion products i was pretty excited for this launch especially for the skin tint and i'm glad that i was able to pick up the two products for you and test them out hopefully this helps you in deciding whether you want to pick anything up or not i will also go ahead and link a couple of reviews that i enjoyed of these products for skin types that are not like mine i am normal pretty much normal with an oily t-zone but i will link for sure an oily skin type review and a dry skin type review and hopefully those align with you in case my skin type does not align with yours all right with that being said i would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video.